I was married for 10 years. I met my husband when I was 20. We got married when I was 26. We got divorced when I was 30. We thought we were going to spend the rest of our lives together. We were totally in love. You know, we were really close to having a family. And we moved a couple of times, and he went into a new firm. He was an attorney. And um, he had an affair. And it was a shock, and it was awful, and it was very traumatic. But what was even more traumatic, than my heart was broken, and I was like, oh my gosh, like my best friend cheated. It's just like, it was so horrific because I had no idea how I was going to support myself. Like, you know, I made probably $50,000 at the time. He probably made 150000 So we had a big house and we had no kids. And like, it was just like this kind of nice little life where I just kind of worked and he worked harder. And, you know, I didn't have single friends because I wasn't single. And I didn't have like, we had a couple friends that we would hang out with rarely because he was always working so I just didn't have a lot of people to hang out with so I would work and when I was done working I would shop so, you know it's like you're in your 20s and you're like you know you're building your house and you're you're decorating the house and I took care of him and I took care of the dogs I took care of the house I took care of me you know I took care of our extended families you know I was the gift giver the shopper the card doer the you know, decorate the Christmas tree. I did, you know, I was like a wife. I stayed at home, and no, I didn't stay at home. I worked from home, and then I would just like leave and shop as, to kind of fill my time. And I certainly knew how to shop well. Like, I didn't just go buy crazy stuff. But, you know, in your 20s, you are kind of acquiring stuff. You're getting juicers and couches and, <laughs> you know, dogs and, you know, all the dog beds and just all the things that you build a house. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, every, we would fight about money because that's like the number one thing that caused divorce. Every Sunday he would balance the checkbook and I would have to hand over my receipts and we would get into this like verbal argument, you know, and basically this tongue lashing about, you know, how I had to stop spending it. And my argument was like, how do you know that this is too much? You have no idea what your boxers cost. You have no idea that I got this tie on sale and you have clean clothes and blah, blah, blah. You know, it was just like this constant weekly battle. So we fought about money, but other than that, everything else was fine. So when he has this affair, all of a sudden, I mean, I was like, I thought I was going to be homeless. I thought I was going to have to move. I thought I was going to have to file bankruptcy. I didn't have a clue. I hadn't written a check in 10 years, 10 years. And quite frankly, like, I was fine with that. <laughs> but then I, all of a sudden, it was just like this realization, like, oh, my gosh, like, I, nobody's, like, Prince Charming cheated. Like, I got to figure this out. And so that was kind of the first eye-opening experience, like, oh, I don't really know a lot about money. I don't really, like, I know how to make it when I save it. I mean, it goes into 401k, but I didn't, like, really look at it. I never followed a budget. I never had to follow a budget because we had plenty of money. And it was just one of those things where he just, that was just kind of his job. So a lot of women come to financially fit females that are in the same situation. I was lucky it happened to me at 30, but it happens to a lot of women at 40 or 50 or even 60 where they've stayed home their whole lives and they've raised their family. Maybe their husband passes away. Maybe it's not a divorce. And they really find themselves in the exact same situation that I was, just not knowing how to do it.